Welcome back to Let's Clean Power Wash Simulator. I'm Burning Dog Face, and it's been a while. I wanted to come back and give something a good scrub. Because, of course, over in No More Heroes, all I'm doing is uh, grinding for LB dollars at the moment. Although I would be lying if I said that one of the reasons I came back to this game wasn't that uh, the special menu, in addition to uh, Lara Croft's house from Tomb Raider, and a bunch of machines you can clean off from the Final Fantasy VII remake, there's now a SpongeBob SquarePants level where you can clean locations from Bikini Bottom. <laughs> Good God, man. Although, as you can see from this icon in the corner here, I would actually have to go out of the game and go to the Steam page to download that separately. So, for the moment, let's just jump in and look at some stuff. Um... Well, sure, golf cart. That shouldn't take too long. Hundred dollars. Mayor Jeff Jefferson the 13th. I need you to clean my sorry golf cart. You might have heard about my poor cat Ulysses going missing. We're all frantic with worry, what with the ceremony just around the corner. I swear I saw him on the golf course, frolicking on the lily pads by the, in the lake by the, the 13th pa What? Frolicking on the lily pads in the lake by the 13th. Par 3, but I always got a birdie. By the time I realized it was just a boisterous carp, it was too late. I slammed on the brakes and went tumbling down the slope, head over tail. Don't worry, docs are giving me the all clear. They said they'd never seen anyone recover from such a minor incident in so little time. But the whole cart needs a hose down. Is that... Is that why there's a cat just out of reach in several levels? Howdy, dirt finder. Put everything on hold. My golf buggy's soiled like you wouldn't believe. Oh, wow. It immediately switched over. That's very funny to me. Oh, just reminding myself, because it's been a little while. Sure. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Huh? Right. He's even got the guy's footprints, that's funny. Now, old yellow should be fine for that. Uh... Knapsville Best Kept Garden, 1996. So Muckington isn't the name of the town, huh? Fuck. Okay, I checked. That sound is coming from inside the game. There's not like a jet landing in my backyard or anything. Oh well. I feel like something has changed. I feel like the, the audio settings might have been reset to the original levels, because everything is really loud. That was weird. The moment I clicked on the master volume slide screen, the volume instantly dropped to a much lower level. It was like the game forgot that it was supposed to have lowered the volume until I reminded it, and then it instantly kicked in the setting I wanted it to be on in the first place. There you go, buddy. Good as new. I was kind of expecting the eyes to be open and angrily glaring at me, but you know. That's a lot of dirt. What the? That was Crouch. Oh, that, oh that's why it was dipped down, because I hit the sprint button. Not the Crouch button. Yeah, that one. Oh, I forgot the ding, that's right. Oh, yes, and uh, I haven't actually seen anything from it. I don't think they've shown anything specific off. But they have announced that they're also doing a special level that is somehow based on the infamously grim universal setting of Warhammer 40,000. Said I could be anything from scrubbing off a space marine who just fought a, I don't know, something of Nurgles, I would imagine, to... Oh, maybe actually hosing off a uh, Chaos Sacrifice uh, altar or something. 
I'll be uh, fairly out of keeping with this game, actually, but then so is most of Warhammer. Oh, I never could have guessed that. Yuck. By the way, I can't speak to the other bonus levels, but I did watch uh, a little bit of someone playing the, uh, the SpongeBob level, and it was in multiplayer mode, so I can assure you that when you're playing that level, they replace the default character model with one that makes you a fish. <laughs> like a fish person. Fitting in nicely with SpongeBob SquarePants. You're not quite on model with the show, but it's a, a lot closer than just a human in a uh, hazmat suit. Why is there bird shit on top of it if it rolled into a lake? I guess it just already needed to be cleaned up up here, huh? I mean, who the fuck's gonna look at the roof? You have to be like eight feet tall. Hooray! The reason I was reminded of the Warhammer thing, funnily enough, was because the uh, the trailer for that was just like a a black wall with the Warhammer forty thousand logo on it as a filthy object. And, you know, the guy scrubs it off, and, uh... I just hear, ding! I, just do, I do enjoy the idea of teasing new content with the ding. Holy crap, that's a different color than I thought it was! Nothing methodical of this method at all. But it's a golf cart, so it's all right. Shouldn't be here long enough to uh, start freaking out over the details. Uh, knock on wood. You know, I like, by the way... Can I, can I see that here? Uh, yeah, main menu. I like that the symbol for the Midgar level is Cloud's sword. Even though uh, Final Fantasy VII itself does have a logo. You know, the meteor. Let's face it, you think about that game, you think about the giant oversized sword. Ooh, the dings are coming fast! That's embarrassing. But more. No, I was prone already. Um. Uh. Oh, fuck, tire. I didn't even see the list there. I was so focused on what I was doing, I didn't notice the hint they were giving me. Literally. I didn't see the water come out. Stylin! 
Looking at the golf cart now, it's almost like the whole thing never happened. You're a genius, Dirt Finder. Much obliged. Sure, let's jump into another house. Oh, God. Aura Smith and Jenny Pebbles. Cards on the table. We live at the old house of Esther... Oh, Esther Death, great. Esther Diath, the eccentric actress who played the Wicked Witch in that classic movie and vanished mysteriously in the National Park. Okay, seriously, it's like this game is either building up this really convoluted secret plot line, or it's teasing you with the idea that it is. Like, you know, it's like this game takes place in the setting of, you know, I <laughs> don't say this to be offensive, you not offensive, I don't say this to be, like, dunking on or anything. It takes place in the background of a setting with a much more exciting game taking place in it, you know? It's like somewhere there's a oh somewhere else there's a game where it's oh you're a detective investigating this weird series of events in this town where I happen to be cleaning off stuff in people's houses. <laughs> yes, uh, we all know the rumors surrounding the place, but we also know we've picked up an absolute bargain. We don't mind if the furniture moves around a little, a little. That's this next level feng shui. But the grubby exterior is really getting to us, and all the other power washers in town are too scared to set foot in our yard. If you could help us, we'd be eternally grateful. Is this going to be a goddamn horror level? Okay. Use washer. I guess it does make more sense than shoot. Well, I mean, the yard's immaculate. Oh, I should have looked out the windows more in that last level, see if the cat was there. Oh, boy. Yeah, gotta go take a look around. What is even going on there with a the blue spot? Grime. That's a good word. Huh. Or a smith, you might notice the odd, super weird, creepy sign on the outside of the house. It's nothing to worry about. It'd be easier if I use the mouse for this. According to Jenny's research, it's written in Enochian, the ancient language of the angels. Huh. For a second, I thought that was a hangman board. Or, I guess, just a drawing of a gallows, since it's not really hangman without a, uh... Oh, for God's sake. Without a, uh... Set of letters, you need to guess. It's just a hanging. Useless language tidbit. The past tense of the word hang is always hung, unless you're talking specifically about uh, hanging someone by the neck until they die, in which case, for some reason, the past tense is hanged. Ooh, there's a bird on that fence. This is a really clean neighborhood. Seems nice and... Well, I don't know what friendly. Everyone stays inside their houses 100% of the time. This house doesn't have any back door. That's strange. Okay. Might as well finish gawking and get to cleaning. And I might as well start here by the door. Oh, the path and the... Oh, this is the level from the logo! Okay, it's not exact, but it was close. Although now I'm more convinced than ever that the cat is important because he's right goddamn there in the official art. I don't know if this game got an official, like, physical release, but this would have been the box art if it did. Okay. Deep breaths. This is gonna... 
Press the limits of human patience. I'm very surprised it does not still say DF. Okay. I. Uh, Son of a bitch. <laughs> what? I mean, I had noticed the cat before, but why is it just today suddenly becoming the focus of the, uh... I dread to even call it a, a, a narrative, but you know. Oh. Um... I made it all the way across the street. That doesn't usually happen. Those are really good reflections on the windshield, by the way. It looks very realistic. That does not look very realistic. <laughs> I love that it's... Again, I have made this observation at every other level, but... I still love that this place is absolutely goddamn filthy, and nothing else is, li is uh, dirty in the slightest. Oops. R, it was R, not A. It's a lot of shit up here. The original language of the of the angels, huh? So you're either talking to an angel. Or you're talking to the devil, who used to be an angel. This does not fill me with confidence. Wait, that's just a shadow. Ha! Ah! And it's still 0% clean, so that's not a great start. Um, maybe I should try some of that soap things. Uh... Fuck, I don't know. Uh, yes. Alright, surface is this. Stone! Arg. Oh, you can just have it uh, auto-save whenever you like. That's interesting. Let's see if I can remember. No. No. Aha. Is this actually on? I thought it would appear in that little box in the corner next to the, uh, the nozzle I have equipped. Oh well, let's see. Maybe not. Um, oh, of course that doesn't work that way. Uh, how do I do that then? Butts. Oh, uh huh. Does that just not work with this one? I'm so out of uh, touch with this. But I'm not even out of touch. It's just, I don't think I ever knew that. No, I don't have a clue with this. God damn it, brain. Just down on the D-pad and then R2, put it back down. This is the most logical system. Can't seem to hit anything else to make it happen. Huh, that's funny. Let me just look away. Zero percent oh no, right, zero percent clean just for the specific thing. I suppose this game could stand to have better tutorializing in that case, the way that the stuff in the store works. What am I doing? I was focusing over here, on the ground. Oh, the time. 
timer. You know, I do appreciate that this game does not do something that another cleaning game I played, uh, Viscera Cleanup Detail, does. And that's that in that game, you, uh, do leave footprints if you walk through blood and then continue to other parts of the level. these things done. Yeah! Well, hey, that's a start. 3% isn't a great number. But it's definitely a start. It sounds pleasantly like rain. And I will see you on the next episode of Let's Clean Power Wash Simulator. We continue taking a stab at this mess and, uh, hopefully walking away without, uh, being possessed. <laughs> uh, wish me luck. Later.